Hey, we're at the Lyman Allen Museum in New London, Connecticut, and this is the American Stories Gallery, which is, features highlights of their American art collection. There isn't really a better display of American art in the state of Connecticut. This is really great stuff, and right off, one of my very favorite pictures, Daniel Huntington's portrait of Abigail Hinman as she's spying out the window in 1781, thinking of taking down Benedict Arnold with her gun. That is one downed girl you don't want to meet in a dark alley. Great, great stuff here. Furniture and paintings and portraits. And This is a New London made chair. It's got lots of personality, including this beautiful little eagle. And, uh, you know, it's a little of everything. And there's the, there's the guide, see, she's <laughs> going to tell you anything you want to know about the art. But there's great stuff here. Look at this picture by Christopher Cranch. Beautiful fall day. And Frederick Church, view of New England. And my favorite, this is awesome, this picture by Albert Bierstadt. That is some weather system there, and beautiful light. Oh, really cool stuff. Frederick Church, Thomas Cole sculpture, and this amazing little sewing table. And look at this view of uh, New England town, but we don't know where it is yet. Ah, sunflower chest from Weathersfield. And arguably, if he hadn't, if he hadn't died young, I think Winthrop Chandler would be America's most famous 18th century portrait painter. These are just remarkable pictures, the expression, the costuming. That is a portrait of Eunice Huntington Devotion and her husband, Ebenezer Devotion. And even down to the little pet, whatever that is under the counting desk. Norwich made clock from Norwich, Connecticut. By Ebenezer Tracy, apparently. And lots of stuff, the silver. This uh, Porringer is actually made in New London. And if we cross quickly in across the hall, into the 19th century gallery. Another artist that I think is incredible is Beatrice Cumming. She did a lot of work in the New London area, some of it of industrial sites like this. But I love these sort of jazz age pictures from the 1930s showing nightlife. This is State Street and Bank Street in New London. And this looks like the sailors on a break. A night on the town at the height of the urban age. Wonderful sort of genre pictures by Beatrice coming. And of course, there are some interesting Connecticut Impressionists. This picture by Anna Minor. She was the President General of the Daughters of the American Revolution at the height of their power in 1928. She was from Waterford, Connecticut, and she did a lot of painting, there quite a few of her pictures at the DAR National Museum in Washington. That's the only one I know on display anywhere in the state of Connecticut. Guy Wigan exhibited frequently in Connecticut during his time. He was a New York-based and Connecticut-based artist at the turn of the century and did these wonderful cityscapes, mostly in New York, and you really feel like on a snowy day you're entering into the life of the city at that time. Um, and then finally, J. Alden Weir, who is probably our most famous Connecticut Impressionist. This is his wife. And uh, he painted this in 1890, and Ella uh, was a baker, was her maiden name, was from Wind Old Wyndham Center near Willimantic, and J. Alden Weir spent a lot of time there and painted there during his lifetime. So really great stuff, American stories. I think this is the best installation of American art in the state of Connecticut. And let's end with this picture by William Chadwick of the Connecticut River from old line.